With so many different kinds of awesome fabrics to use in your cosplay projects, I just couldn't limit myself to five. So here's another 10 of my favorites, though maybe less commonly used cosplay fabrics, some of their best uses, and some pros and cons and other tips. Canvas is a plain weave fabric normally made out of cotton. It's heavy duty, incredibly sturdy, and very durable. It's really good for props, accessories, or anywhere that you need some additional structure. I often use it as the lining material for corsets or other uh, very structured bodice pieces. Linen is a plain woven lightweight fabric, really similar to a lot of other woven cotton fabrics, except it is made from the flax plant. It also is normally woven with a rougher texture or what we refer to as a slub, where there are uneven sized threads that are used for the warp and the weft. And this gives it a little bit less of a machined or manufactured look, which is why I really like to use linen and linen look materials in my, I'll say my quote unquote, historical costuming or things where I want them to look more handmade and less machine made. Taffeta is a crisp, stiff, woven fabric. It's similar in a lot of ways to satin. It's often made out of silk or out of polyester. Uh, taffeta has a very luxurious sort of luster and a little bit of a shininess to it and a very firm hand. It's a great fabric for anything where you want the elegance of a satin, but with more structure and stability, like really big skirts or bows or poofy shapes. Taffeta is still pretty lightweight, compared to something like a canvas or a twill, but it'll hold its structure incredibly well. Jersey is a soft two-way knit fabric. It's often made out of cotton or sometimes similar fibers like rayon. If you look really closely at a jersey fabric, it actually looks a lot like hand knit something. Uh, it's got little Vs on one side and like loopies on the other side. And that's what makes it a two-way stretch. So it'll stretch across the lengthwise grain. It's also what helps it drape and gives it the very light to maybe medium weight drape to it. I don't tend to use jersey in cosplays, although it's really great if you want to make comfy t-shirts or drapey skirts or often more normal clothing. Uh, so it definitely has its place in your cosplay repertoire. Velvet is a fabric with a knit or sometimes woven backing to it and then a soft pile on the other side. That's the nice technical definition and that pile tends to be somewhat too very shiny. Velvet is most often these days made out of rayon, although you can find very nice velvets made out of silk which will tend to be a little bit more expensive. You can also find a cheaper alternative to velvet, which is crushed velvet. It tends to have a much shorter pile and that crushedness is get by basically fixing that pile in like random directions across the material. Velvet can be kind of slippery and a little bit hard to work with, but it's got a very nice sort of medium hand with a lot of drape to it. It's the sort of thing that works really well for very dramatic pieces or as an accent material because of that shine and that texture to it. Uh, it's great for jackets or dresses or anything where you want some amount of structure and some amount of drape. Fur, just like leather and pleather, comes in both natural and synthetic versions of it. And again, you make the choice that works best for you in terms of which one it is that you want to work with. Natural fur will have a leather backing to it, where synthetic fur will have a woven backing to it and maybe very rarely a knit backing. The length of the fur is referred to as the pile, and that's the distance basically from the backing of the fabric to the tip of the hair or the fur. There's a really big range that you'll find, especially in the faux fur area, from very expensive furs, which will tend to be softer and suppler, they'll often look more natural, less prone to tangling, down to cheaper furs, which are obviously cheaper and more accessible, but will tend to be less soft and are a little bit more prone to shed or tangle. Now, the fur that you need is obviously going to be very specific to whatever your cosplay is. And my go-to recommendation is uh, furries and fursuit builders. There is a ton of resources about working with fur, dyeing it, coloring it, painting it, shortening it, uh, splicing pieces of it together, making it look really good without seams, and they are just great resources to learn how to work with that material if you need to for your next cosplay. Chiffon. I have a love-hate relationship with chiffon. On one hand, it's a beautiful, lightweight, drapey, somewhat gauzy, see-through material that's just really excellent for ethereal and fairy and princessy costumes, and on the other hand, it is a bit of a nightmare to work with. It frays a lot, it's very slippery and has a tendency to like not want to stay in place. So it's a gorgeous fabric that can be really great for specific uses, but 
do be careful when you're sewing it. I recommend serging all of your edges and trying to keep things as, as sturdy as possible. Use stabilizers, use lots of pins. Um, otherwise, it might be sad. Organza is similar to chiffon, but far less drapey. It's a uh, lightweight, sheer, kind of plain woven, uh, can be made out of silk, is often these days made out of polyester or other synthetic materials. Sometimes it will combine a little bit of metallic thread in it as well to give it some, like extra shimmer and shine or like plastic glittery threads in it. Um, it has more structure than chiffon, chiffon, which, so though it is prone to fraying, is less prone to like slippage while you're sewing it and can be really great for where you want that kind of sheer look, but a little bit more structure. Lace is lace. It's characterized by having this delicate open pattern structure with lots and lots of different designs. It can be made from silk, is often found these days, again, out of polyester or nylon, uh, or even cotton and other materials. Really fancy lace is, in fact, handmade, but more often than not, you're going to be finding machine-made lace. Lace is generally not a particularly sturdy fabric, so it makes a really great embellishment or decoration, but you'll often want to find some sort of base or other structure to add to it to add some stability. Tool is a lightweight netting fabric. It's not really woven, it's, it's a netting, which is a whole different method of construction. Generally speaking, made from polyester, makes it very sturdy and very stiff and great when you add lots and lots of layers together, it'll hold its shape and its structure super well why it's often used for petticoats or tutus or undergarments where it needs a lot of support and a lot of structure. Most often I'm using tool to add structure to something as opposed to using it on its own, but you can find even decorative kinds of tools, ones with glitter and lots of fun things in them, uh, which can make another great decorative element for your cosplay. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have other fabric questions or other cosplay questions, leave those down in the comments section below. I'd love to know what you would like to know more about. And as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and do all that other YouTube shillin' stuff. Thanks. And you can also check me out live on twitch.tv slash random Tuesday, where I'm always happy to answer cosplay questions and I'm often working on cosplay projects. And if you're looking for more tutorials and resources and other cosplay things like patterns, head over to my website, randomtuesday.com. And lastly, as always, thank you to each and every one of my patrons over on Patreon who made this video and many cosplays and projects a reality. If you're able to do so, any monthly amount is truly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching.